Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're doing really well. As the thumbnail and the title suggests, today I wanted to share my news that we are pregnant with baby number two. I am so excited. So what I'm gonna do is jump straight into this video, just share a little bit more about what happened at the scan and all of those things. And then in a couple of weeks time, just to allow me some time to edit it, I'm gonna have my first trimester update video live too. So that's gonna go from everything from conception all the way up to 13 weeks when I, it was a couple of days before I had this scan. So I wanted to talk a little bit more about the scan, the experience and the kind of care that I'm on as I look into this pregnancy. So if you are curious about anything like that or just want to celebrate baby number two, it feels really weird because I shared when I was pregnant with my first child. So it feels like a bit of a full circle moment. I am so excited to share it with you. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen this. But for all of those that don't, surprise. And yeah, let's get into it. Also, please excuse the fact I am so bunged up. I've just caught another cold. I don't seem to get a break with illnesses. And yeah, I just really wanted to film this video today. So I hope you don't mind. I absolutely adore these scan photos. They were just so incredibly clear. And this one here, for the second from the top, baby actually has their legs in the air up here. And I just thought it was the cutest little thing because when we had this scan, so first of all, I have to say I was so relieved there was only one baby in there. There was a bit of me because I felt so nauseous the first couple of months. I had this like panic inside me that there was two. There's nothing wrong with having twins. I think that they are the cutest things ever. But the cost of childcare would mean that that would be a huge implication in terms of just life and I hate that that is something you have to consider but that's reality unfortunately childcare for two would just mean that my plans of going back to work and all of those things would have to change and that is just not what I would have wanted so first of all there's one which is amazing I'm really really pleased and this baby was such a stubborn little thing so laying within like my stomach they were just chilling with their chin to their chest almost the whole time and they have to get like crown of the head to like their bum to get the measurements to see kind of how far you are if the dating is accurate and all of those things i was jumping up and down i was wiggling all around on the bed i was doing all sorts of moves to try and get this baby to move so that they could take that measurement and make sure that everything was okay um, and kind of get accurate measurements too so we finally got there, but this baby did not make it easy. I didn't have to do any of that with my first pregnancy. And yeah, it was a really strange experience, like trying to get them to physically move. And I think the most surreal thing with a 12 week scan that the bigger you get and the bigger the baby gets is less kind of apparent when you have these experiences of scans is the fact that you see them moving so much, but you don't feel a thing and it's just such a surreal thing it just doesn't feel like real life and this baby was just wriggling so so much it was amazing to know that everything was okay they were measuring exactly on so at the date of the scan i was 13 weeks and two days and they were measuring exactly that so that's fab so that means my due date is the 7th of august which is very exciting Following up from my scans, obviously they do all the measurements and we opted for all of the genetic testing as well, just so I think knowledge is power in these situations. And that's already come back with very, very minimal, like low chance, so that's great. Um, we had then a follow-up and I'm gonna be on consultant care for this pregnancy. I had that as a bit of an expectation. The reason being is with my first pregnancy, I was very low on iron and platelets for the entire pregnancy. And I had the same thing again. I can't remember the name of the condition whereby your platelets go down to a very, very low level, but I have that and it's pregnancy induced. It's not anything within my lifestyle or anything like that. It's just triggered by pregnancy in me, which is, a bit weird because you can't control it, but I also have that reassurance that they go back up after pregnancy. So I'm gonna be on consultant care because of that. And I'm also anemic. So I'm that low in iron that I have anemia. I think that's the name for it. And so, yeah, I'm gonna be on consultant care, which means I get more scans and more hospital-based appointments, which 
again I kind of expected because I had the whole experience with my first pregnancy so it's not come to me as a bit of a shock I don't feel scared in that process I don't feel like it's wildly different to my first experiences and what that does mean is that we've already booked our next scan because at the hospital they said that they wanted me to have it at 19 weeks so sometimes it's typically called like a 20 week scan is it it's typically around 20 weeks i think it can happen between like 19 weeks to 22 weeks and that's typically when they tell you the gender if you want to know and do additional kind of testings and growths and check everything's developing as it should be and so we actually already have that scan booked in for the 20th of march so it feels like that's not long to go and we are definitely finding out the gender this time as well i would love to be a parent that waits until you give birth and I think that would be an incredible surprise but I'm too impatient and I also think that finding out the gender makes the whole experience feel so much more real. I touched on this on my first trimester update video but we already have a girl's name should we have a girl. We have no idea on boys names if we have a boy. I really don't have a preference. I just, you know, I can't wait to find out though. And I feel like because we're only gonna have two children, we decided we don't want any more than this. That either way is a blessing, of course, but a girl means that Heidi, our eldest daughter, has a sister to play with and they can grow up together. And I think that that would be a lovely bond because I also have a sister. But if we have a boy, that's one of each. And I think that would also be lovely. And yeah, I'm really excited to find out what they are. So we're definitely going to be finding that out. And I'll share with you once that happens. Because yeah, it's going to be a bit of a crazy one. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I typically share all updates there first. So I'll have it linked down below in terms of like my handles and stuff. If you're curious or wanna have a little bit of a nosy, then definitely head over there because that is where I post everything first. However, otherwise, I just wanted to take this opportunity to sit down and just share with you our amazing news. I love getting these photos. The wait until the first scan feels so long. And so it's always great to have that reassurance that everything's okay, measuring as they should, developing as they should. You could see the arms and the limbs and they counted the toes and the fingers and you could see the bone structure and the heartbeat. I didn't have a note of how fast the heart was beating. I was talking with one of my closest friends that lives in America and they were saying that if it's over 140, typically that normally leans more girl, but we have no idea of what the heartbeat was. So I'm gonna to have to find that out in my next midwife appointment, which is the beginning of March. I know that they check the um, heartbeat with like a Doppler there. So I'm gonna be asking her there, I don't know whether that's kind of truthful or not, but I'm always curious and I love testing like old wives theories and things. But yeah, it's a very exciting time. This summer is going to be a crazy one and I just feel really excited about it. I think as well it's natural to have some nerves and some anxiety because once you've gone through the process once, you know what to expect, good and bad. And so I'm not naive to some of those areas, but I also feel a little bit more prepared the second time around. So yeah i am having another baby i just wanted to say thank you to everyone that has shared the love on instagram i noticed all of your familiar names and i really appreciate your wonderful comments and just generally thank you so much for the love on my videos this year and last year it's been incredible i've loved making them and so i really hope to continue making videos for as long as possible and even after i've had baby for as long as i can viably make videos for then i will definitely do so because i just love filming hair care content this is typically not my kind of normal realm and I'm not going to be doing very frequent pregnancy updates but I'm probably going to just recap more so on the end of a trimester looking back in my first pregnancy I did weekly updates which is great to look back on however I just don't think that I'm going to do that I don't want my channel to go down at that kind of pregnancy mum route I definitely want to keep it just strictly hair care talking about my journey and how to strengthen your hair however I think we all want some cheeky little updates on how Bubba is doing. So I'm going to definitely sprinkle them in across, but don't worry, kind of content isn't changing very dramatically. But for those that are curious, you can have a little gander. So I just wanted to share this news with you because I love you all so much. Your support means so much to me. And I just wanted to share this little bit of my personal life with you. And I just it just means so much. And I just love the fact I can say it out loud now and everyone knows. So yeah, I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.